Hey producers, let's get real for a second. How many times have you lost track of a beat because you couldn't remember if it was finished, if it needed mixing, or was just waiting for that final touch? It's something we've all been through. But what if I told you there is a way to keep everything in one place? Your beat details, project progress, and even your release schedules. Today, I will show you how to organize your music production project and data with Notion in the simplest way possible. And stick around till the end for four useful tips on how to use Notion without edX. Welcome guys, I'm Rachi, a music producer, songwriter and sound engineer. Over the years, I've created hundreds of beats, but keeping track of all the mid data used to be a nightmare. I used to struggle with tracking which bits needed mixing, which ones were ready to upload, and which were just ideas waiting to be developed. It was chaos and it slowed me down. But all that changed when I started using Notion. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the Notion setup I created that not only organize every bit, metadata, but also keeps me consistent in tracking my producing process. So what is Notion? Notion is an all-in-one workspace where you can create, write, plan, collaborate and get organized. So let's start with the core of the system, the Beat Project Manager. This is where every bit I create is cataloged. Each bit gets its own page where I can input its BPM key, genre and even notes on the mood or inspiration behind it. Then this section is all about the nitty gritty details, things like licensing terms, whether the beat has been sold exclusively and any specific usage right. You can also add images, you can add any details related to that beat. For those of you who upload beats to platforms like YouTube or BeatStars, I've also set up a release planner. Here I can plan out my release, schedule, track where each bit has been uploaded and for overall management. This section helps me keep records of all sales, including buyer details, sale date and any additional notes. It's a lifesaver when you need to quickly reference what's been sold and what's still available in your catalog. So this is about when you sold a bit exclusively or not yet. Then we have notes section to write any notes you may have. And then we have the idea page when you can add any idea or any projects you would like to work on. Then there is the affiliate links when you can put all your affiliate deals, percentage and links. Also, there is a resources page where there are some templates about the folder structure, uh, folder namings, file namings. Depends on you what you would like to put in that section. Everything is centralized, clear and organized. And you don't have to start from scratch. I've made this exact template available for you to download. So you can start organizing your bits like a pro. Now I'm curious. How do you keep your beat catalog organized? Do you have any tips or tricks that work for you? Drop a comment below and let's share some ideas. And now, as promised, here are some tips to help you make the most out of the Notion template without feeling overwhelmed. First, start with the basics. Don't feel like you have to fill in every detail right away. Start with the most essential information like BPM and key and gradually add more details as you go. This makes it easier to maintain consistency. Weekly maintenance. Schedule a weekly check-in to update your Notion page. This could be after a recording session where you log the new bits you've made or after a sale. Regular updates keep everything current and reduce the chance of missing important details. Customize to fit your needs. Notion flexibility is one of its strength. Don't hesitate to tweak the templates to fit your specific workflow. Maybe you need a different way to organize your releases. Make it your own. Use Notion search function. Once your catalog grows, use Notion Profile search 
function to quickly find any bit by name, by key or any other details you've logged. This saves time and keep you efficient. I hope these tips help you get the most out of Notion. Trust me, it's all about finding a system that works for you. And this setup has been a game changer for me. So go ahead, download the template and start taking control of your music production workflow. Don't forget to like, subscribe for more tips and tutorials.